I created a video about a Discord bot roughly a year ago, and it received a significant amount of positive feedback, however, there were also numerous individuals encountering issues, and one person was even ready to kidnap me. Boring! Okay, today, I'll demonstrate how to make a Discord bot without any coding using an Android device. So let's jump into the video. We will start it by creating an application. To create the bot, go to any browser and search Discord developer portals, then click on the first link. Once you are here, simply click on new application, then enter your bot name, agree to their term of services and click on create. Now, tap on the three lines, then go to OAuth2, then again tap on the three lines and go to URL generator. Select bot in scopes and select permissions if you want, I will leave them. After that copy the invite link and go to your Discord server where you want to invite the bot. Paste the invite link there and tap on the link to invite the bot to the server. Downloading the app. To get started with the bot creation, go to Play Store and install the app called Bot Designer for Discord. After installing open it and you will see something like this. Now tap on create new bot then enter your bot name which you want. For the bot token, you will have to come to the developer portals, tap on the three dots then go to bot section, after that tap on reset token, yes do it then copy the bot token and paste it at the bot token section. Agree to their term of services that no one's read and tap on create bot, and boom you have add your bot to the app. Now the most important thing you need to do after this is enabling the intents of your bot, to do this, simply go to developer portal then in the bot section, scroll down and enable the three intents options below the gateway as without this your bot will not work properly. Once you have done that, come back to the app and tap on the settings icon, scroll down then tap on go to gateway intense settings, then tap on sync with intense. If you get this message, then you are good to go. How to host the bot. To host the bot, you have three hosting options available, two of them are free, while the third one comes with a fee. The first option requires you to solve a captcha, and you'll receive a 30 minute testing period. The second one is, you can watch a 30 second advertisement, after which you'll gain 140 minutes of hosting time, the more ads you watch, the longer your hosting time will become. The third choice involves purchasing their premium subscription, which grants you unlimited hosting time, feel free to select any of these options. Creating commands. To get started, navigate to the command creator section below, then, click on command creator, enter your desired command name, which will be displayed within the app, next, input the command you wish to create, for example, let's create a simple command like hello. Below, you'll find a selection of pre-made commands that you can utilize. For this particular command, you can choose options such as mentioning the user who executed the command or sending a reply message, among other commands, and write the reply which you want the bot to give. Once you've configured your command preferences, simply click on the Create Command button, you'll then see a preview of your command trigger and the bot's response. For instance, if you've set it up to respond with hello and the user's username when someone types the hello command, it will look something like this. Save the command, and you are done with your first command, now to test it we will go to our server and I will use the command which I have created, and boom you can see it worked. You can always edit the command by going back to the app, then if you click on the edit icon of the specific command you will get the code, and from here you can make changes, like I want the bot not to mention the user so I will add dollar no mention and after that the bot will reply without mentioning. Let's check it by using the same command again, and you can see this time it didn't mention the user. In a similar fashion, you can employ this method to craft a variety of commands. If you're wondering where to find information about the code or need guidance, there's no need to fret. They offer a help section containing tutorials for various types of commands. You can refer to these tutorials to gather the necessary information and fashion your own commands. All right, so this marks the conclusion of the video, and I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you encounter any issues, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and peace out.